Welcome back. Hawke's Bay is the latest region to ask the government for support as the dry conditions become too much for farmers. The government's already declared Northland an official drought zone and will soon decide whether to do the same in Hawke's Bay and Waikato. Matt McLean explains. These are the conditions Hawke's Bay farmers are dealing with, searing temperatures making it so tough, rural authorities have decided to ask for help. Everybody's agreed in there that we should go and seek the government to give us um, drought to clear us a drought zone. It's pretty serious. The region is joining the queue. Waikato is also asking for a drought declaration, which triggers some assistance, including farming advice and financial help for the worst affected. It's tough out there when, you, when you're battling this sort of uh, event and, and just recognition, I guess, by the government that, that hey, uh, you know, this area is really struggling. If a region decides it needs government support, it'll go to Nathan Guy, the Minister for Primary Industries. He'll determine whether to declare an area a drought zone. He looks at things like soil and moisture levels, as well as the social and economic impacts the dry weather's having on the area. From that, he'll determine whether the government should step in and lend a hand. We travelled with Peter Whitehead throughout Rangitike today. He's in charge of delivering water to farmers who are in dire need of some rainfall. This farm just south of Taihape's water supply has completely dried up for the first time ever. Definitely a lot drier than normal. We probably haven't had a dry year like this since 2008. A lot of dairy farms are probably on their last round of any decent grass and there's nothing turning up behind them. The government's expected to decide in the next two days whether Hawke's Bay and Waikato will become drought zones, but considering the past six months have been the driest in the bay since 1952, farmers say support will be a welcome relief. Matt